now day two after the relocation. That's the queen, the one that looks a darker yellow. And the three big ones, future queens. And then that small one chewing on the cell. That's a drone. Longer antenna with the bigger eyes. One coming up behind also. That's a great sign. Uh, one has a pollen on its back legs. Plus those two cells next to the queen have honey in them. Another perfect sign that they are getting reestablished. Oh, there's another one with pollen there too. A couple of them with pollen. The one with pollen is going around trying to find somewhere to put it. And they're starting to work on trying to cover the nest too. As you can see they're starting to bring debris in. They put it up over the tops of the cells. grabbing a drink. Either grabbing a drink or checking to see if that so it'd be good for the pollen, but we'll soon see. The one was taking a sample of the pollen that that one was carrying. Hmm. Just flying around now. <laughs> oh, she went back over by where the queen's at. Yeah, see, they're all clamoring from some of the pollen. Kidding. Because the two males are going to eat the pollen off the worker's leg before she even gets it deposited. Now there's three of them. Three males going after the pollen on her legs. Yep, there went one just went out the entrance to go gather some more food.
That's good that they're coming back. The, I did lose quite a few of them to the heat, but they seem to be the workers that are left are more than I was thinking there was. Plus we have new hatching all the time too. to be six, seven new queens in our next season in there so far, which there's probably quite a few there still haven't hatched throughout the comb too. There's a yellow jacket in there. Snuck past the guard. They've been busy already this morning, it looks like, with the new honey pots, and they're pretty full already. You can tell the queen is getting older. She's the one that overwintered, established the nest. Her tail is completely bald now. It looks more like a carpenter bee than a bumblebee, but she had hair on her on her tail, just like those two bigger ones above her. But with all the laying eggs and, and stuff, and as she was getting older, she loses that hair. The old queen will die not too long from now. They usually don't survive very all the way until the end of the season. It seems that she's done most of her egg laying already. There's still a lot of unhatched. And come fall, there will be quite a few that will not hatch before the first freezes. Well, this is day two. I'm going to try to do one of these every day so we can see the progress. As the colony reestablishes in their new home. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, so you can get your daily Updates on the colony's progress. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so and the bell icon so you know when the next video comes out. Also, please comment down below what you thought. I really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.